Hi everyone. I thought I'd do a overview of my daily commuter bike. It's a 2015 Reed Osprey Elite, 630 bucks with free shipping, bought online, which probably isn't recommended if you are not sure of your actual, you know, of what your normal bike size should be. You probably should buy from a local bike shop and get them to fit you. Hopefully that, that you buy it from a bike shop that's actually good enough to fit you properly to your bike, not just the ones that are going to flog you something. So up here in the, uh, the cockpit, we've got a Garmin Edge 500, which is, I don't know, it's, it keeps, um, not doesn't really keep on doing it, but every so often it uh, seems to just cut out and pause for ages. I did the, the 210k around the bay ride last year and it cut out after about 40 kilometers, so that was pretty annoying. I've got one of these USB rechargeable Leeseine, Leeseine, there you go, Leeseine headlights. Oop, yep, it's bright. Got a few different modes, flashing, different levels of brightness. Yeah, it's pretty good. Doesn't seem to last very long, but you can just recharge it off the uh, USB plug in your computer. But I've also got this with a separate Got a separate battery pack for this ridiculously bright headlight. It's probably brighter than my car. Brighter, brighter than my car headlights. Um, yeah, I've got my bell. Handy if you happen to go on the bike paths and people seem to appreciate it if you give them a bit of warning. It's much better than trying to shout at them. Uh, I've changed the, changed the uh, factory handlebars because the factory ones are a pile of crap. They are here. See, they've got a massive, oh, well, it is a big sort of drop, but also it doesn't, the uh, the bottom section should come back more level with the top section, at least, you know, for my preference. It feels like your hand's going to slip off the bottom of them when they're on there, and they had a massive reach on them. They're just stupid, probably cheap handlebars they got bulk and just slapped them on these bikes, because they are, you know, it's a pretty cheap bike. Lifetime warranty on the frame and, and uh, fork, uh, I think it's on the fork as well. Anyway, frame at least. So, you know, it's all right. It's got respectable components, but a few a few bits are pretty average. But what do you expect for 600 bucks? Um, so yeah, I've got a pair of Richie handlebars I had left over. I had on my other bike, my, you know, sort of weekend bike. Um, but then I just changed them back to the original and put the Richie bars on here. So it's kind of lucky I had them left over. Uh, Got an Italian road bike mirror. That's pretty. That's pretty awesome. I like how you know how sort of slim it is, slimline. Most people don't even realise I've got a mirror on my bike until I, you know, until I show it to them. Obviously, it's on the right because I'm in Australia. Uh, just good to be able to see cars coming, especially when you're at night time. You can see the headlights coming. It's really easy. Keep an eye on things coming up behind. Uh, carbon fiber fork, alloy steerer. Kind of interesting on a $600 bike to have a carbon fiber fork, so you wonder how, what sort of quality they are. Um, got these Crud Road Racer 2 mud guards. They're a little bit fiddly to put on, but I hear a lot of people whinging about them, but they're not that hard. I mean, gee. <laughs> if you can put furniture together from IKEA, you should be able to cope with these things. They do rub a little bit occasionally, but no big deal. There's no actual friction there, it's just more of the sound. So if you're a bit OCD, you might not love them, but, you know, get over it. <laughs> They're pretty decent, nice and light. Uh, yep, drink bottles, Camelback. Camelbacks are awesome. And here's my tool bottle holder. Tool, tool holder bottle, whatever you want to call it. Um... I made, uh, I'm not going to make another video more in depth about that. Um, wheels, what wheels have we got? Pretty basic. What are they, 32 spoke wheels I think. Nothing special about them, but they roll alright. Just need yeah, to check the uh, bearings every so often. Tektro brakes, not much to say about them. Sora, this is all fitted out with Shimano Sora group set. Well, not the brakes, obviously, but yeah, uh, the fronts. Uh, I got a triple chain wheel on the front, so it's a triple shift lever on the left. I think they're 
nine nine speed. Yeah, pretty sure it's nine speed. And there you go. It says nine speed on there. Um, yeah, so triple chain wheel on the front. Uh, thirty sprocket size is thirty thirty nine fifty. So a good range of gears there. I don't really ever go that far, so I could almost. I was thinking actually to change it to mountain bikes, where mountain bike um, chain wheel on the front, where it would be even lower gearing, because I've got some ridiculously steep hills around where I live. They're not really long, but they're they're you know up to twenty percent grades. And when I've got a load on my bike, it's um it's fair effort to get up them. Um, yeah. So what's the mountain bike one? They're twenty six. Oh, the lowest one's 26, I think, so that'd be a good extra um, drop in speed. You're not going very fast, but at least you make it up the top pretty easy. It's got standard mountain bike pedals. They're awesome. I hate road pedals. Road pedals are ridiculous. And you clip in one side. These things, you just just shove your foot on it. You can pedal even if it's not clipped in. I've changed the rear cassette to... It came with an 1125. So a 25 with a 30 chain wheel uh, sprocket up the front it was just too fast for me for these for the hills I got around here um, the weight I want to carry um, you know I love spinning at least at least 90 rpm when I'm climbing so I've put a, a 34 I think it's a 3411 on the on there now so 34 with a 32 front gear gives me a nice low ratio but you know could you go even longer lower with a 26 that'd be pretty awesome uh, yeah, the rear crud road race. It's got this um, this uh, extra bit here, protects your drivetrain. And I haven't cleaned my drivetrain for a couple of weeks, and it's still pretty clean compared to when I, as soon as usually when I ride in the wet after one ride, it's just black. So it's doing a fairly, I think it's doing a fairly good job of keeping that all clean. Um, so here's the main <laughs> um, my main storage. Um, I'll just, it's a, uh, what, what brand is it? Uh, it's a Topeak Super Tourist rack with the quick release, um, slot on the top. So I've got the, what model is it? Oh, there you go, the, or the MTX. I forget the exact model, but I'll do another video of this bag, um, uh, pretty soon. Yeah, so just to get the bag off, just press, oops, just press down on this quick release and that just... Yeah, slides off. It's a little bit kind of sticky. It's not as smooth. Oh, gee, not as smooth as I'd met. Oh, I hadn't clicked down properly. There you go. So you just slide that off. Helps if I don't pull on the frame itself. Slides off eventually. So if we can just walk over, walk into the shops with it. I think that's everything for now. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you next time.